Well, I think it was Moody Blues would, would probably have, if you had the album Nights in White Satin, they would, they would sing that this time is Peak Hour. Boy, I'd love to play, love to play that song. That and love. Well, since I don't have access to Moody Blues, I think while I'm waiting for the bus, it uh, might be a time for a little trivial piece. Um, Brother Mark, Turner Syndrome's Butterflies in Life. Amy's got two fun videos that I might that I might that I might have a little fun with, lighthearted fun with. It's real good. Uh, but the one I, I really like is you can't that that outsiders are creepy. And well, are they? Yeah, some people like to like to paint wrong pictures. Uh, what can you do? Yeah, they want to paint wrong pictures, you know, that's, uh, hey. <laughs> and Columbus, we call that channel t Fox 28, so, hey. Sorry. Probably one of the reasons I don't even have a TV at home. It's, uh, I managed to somehow manage to detach from the drama on the internet, but... Men. Turner Syndrome Brothers. Brothers! Yeah, brothers. I shared that once on a, uh, I shared that once on a, on a, on a, on a, on a video, and I bought the reactions I got like brake screeching. You gotta be kidding! And the funny thing is, although I think some of the staff, the Turner Syndrome Foundation, figured figured it out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all right. But yeah, Turner Syndrome brothers. No. Get of course we know that this is a women's disease. And we know that women Turner syndrome women are missing an X chromosome. Or a partial. Yeah, we Okay. But are there men in the organization? Actually there are actually I'd say there's quite a few. I mean first off how about at every National Turner Syndrome conference that that the that the men do the op opening chorus? They can't sing, but they they have. But you know what? They have fun with it. Okay. I love to sing with them myself. Mm. Mm. So we so that that's one. How about dads? Dads, yeah, I'm talking a lot of dads. Dads feel they kind of get short shrift. I mean, the moms, oh, God bless them. That is, that is practical sainthood. And I hear talk to some wonderful moms who work tirelessly for their, for their daughters and, and have also gained a lot of Wisdom on 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 life. Uh, haven't seen in a while, but um, T. S. Mom from Minnesota. I just admire her for the world and just her her spunk and her wisdom and her mental health resources. Just as case, but I digress. But dads, yeah. And the the the, the funny thing is, I was actually up last summer at the. Uh, T.S. Canada Walk in uh, Brantford, Ontario, and uh, talking about what our church was doing for the Turner Syndrome community and why, how it got interested. Yeah, I did get some weird looks, but I also said some of the things they were suggesting, and some of these were like, wow, you would drive all the way to, from Columbus, Ohio, to be with us? Sure, it's a nice drive in the country. I've never been to Canada before. The car seat was a little different, but other than that, I, I got over it. The border crossings, hey, they were okay. But, you know, it's just bouncing off ideas and talking to other sisters and sharing resources that they could find. But at the same time, I also talked to some of the dads. I said, you know, one thing I'd like to see is resources for the dads. And I said, because sometimes they get left out and, and sometimes they struggle with their daughter, trying to relate to their daughters. And a lot does it. Yeah! Man! I wish I thought of that. 
And we actually, uh, with One Sister in Texas, we were actually playing with it. There were a couple of TS husbands who were looking at what we call Butterflies Anon. If you have Al Alcoholics Anonymous, you also have Al Anon for the, for the uh, spouses significance of Alcoholics Anonymous. So theoretically, if you had a Butterflies Anonymous meeting, the men or the significant others could be in the Butterflies Anon meeting. You know, it's a, it's you know it's an idea and it's a need. Sometimes that get kind of get short trip. I think one of my one of the best dads that I know loved his daughter. He was concerned, and it bugged him when the diagnosis weren't right, and it bothered him. And. The other nice thing is he afforded me the opportunity to ask those stupid questions so that I, yeah, I wouldn't would embarrass myself. He also made me, as I was 